going to look at Texas Common Course Numbering System, tccns.org. This website lists all the colleges in Texas and the common course number. For example, a common course for our students to take at a community college would be Government 2305. This is a very common course for our students to transfer to a four-year university, either through um, concurrent enrollment or through dual credit enrollment um, through their high school. If a student is um, confused on how the credits work or what the course would transfer to their university as, you can look that information up on Texas Common Course Numbering System or tccns.org. It's really simple to do. It's automatically going to preset as fall 2020 to summer 2021. You can change the the years by just clicking on the link that says view other years. I will say not all of the schools are uploaded for the current school year. Uh, the first school that I looked up was the University of Texas at Austin and the University of Texas at Austin for the current school year is not listed. Um, however, if you look at fall 19 to summer 2020, uh, the courses are listed. So you are able to see that. Um, for UT Austin. It's also not in there for UT El Paso either. Um, so, but I did also look at Texas A&M University. I selected UT Austin and Texas A&M University as the two schools to look up because those are our two flagship colleges in the state of Texas. So, but you'll see that those the courses are listed for Texas A&M. So the TCCNS number, that is going to be your common course number at our community colleges. So Houston Community College, Austin Community College, um, Tyler Junior College, that's the course number at the community college level. And then on the other side, it lists the Texas A&M college number. So you can scroll down and you can see that when a student takes Government 2305 through their community college, that the government course at Texas A&M is going to be Poli Sci 206. It transfers, when you transfer the course, it will transfer to Texas A&M as Poli Sci 206. Uh, so this is a great resource to use with your students when you're talking about how do courses transfer from dual credit or if you are a college admissions professional and a student has a community college transcript and you're wanting to go over transferability, you can use this matrix to help you look at um, that and go over that information with these students. Um, also, you can download and save it as well. Um, you can download a spreadsheet. It down, you select the year, select the college, and then you can download the spreadsheet um, and it'll have all of the universities on there for you.